SRA. I recently learned the SRA public key crypto system, or wait, was it supposed to be RSA? Hmm, I should probably check. Connect to the program on our server at port 59754, and we have the program itself. Okay, so here is the program which I've downloaded. Basically what they do is they generate a random string. This thing that says pride is really the plain text. They generate gluttony and greed, which are P and Q. N is P times Q. The public key is 65537. And then there's phi of N, P minus one, Q minus one. And so NV is D. So then they're gonna print out for us both the cipher text and D, and they're gonna ask us to give them the plain text. And if we can, then they're gonna give us the flag. Okay, so, I've got a script here to work on this. So I'm gonna to connect to the server, get the cipher text, get D, and then because D is the multiplicative inverse of E mod P minus one, Q minus one, or phi, we know that D times E is K times P minus one times Q minus one plus one for some value of K. And what that means is that P minus one times Q minus one times K is D times E minus one. So if we get all the divisors of D times 65,537 minus one, and then we create all of the possible factors of that, all those lists, and we see basically any possible thing, because some subset of the factors has to be P minus one. Some subset of the factors has to be Q minus one. So we try every subset of the factors, see if it's the right length, because it's supposed to be 128 bits, and if it would be one less than a prime. And if that happens, we're gonna add it to our list of possible primes. So up here, I have a routine that basically just gives me all the possible subsets. So it's to the end, but if the list of factors isn't too long, it should work out okay. And then writing code to find all the divisors was annoying, so I'm just gonna use a website and then put the output of the website in as an input to the program at runtime. You should never really use eval in real code, but the only person ever gonna run this code is me. I'm not gonna type bad stuff at it. Then, uh, once we've gotten every possible prime, we try all possible prayer, pairs as n. We try to decode it, convert it to a set of bytes, and then decode it as ASCII. If it works, we're gonna print it out, we're gonna send it to the other side, hopefully get ourselves a flag. All right. So we've got our ciphertext, we have D. It says, give me the divisors of this, which is 65, 537 times D minus one. So I'm gonna get the prime factors of that. And this time it was nice enough to actually give them to me as a comma separated list. Sometimes it doesn't, which is really kind of irritating. So I can just give it the comma separated list Come on, you can do it. Or maybe that I have too many. Oh, there we go. Great, so it went through, it generated this huge list of possible primes, and then it created all the possible ends. It got this as the plain text, which I sent across, and then it tells me my flag. Okay, so again, basically what was happening is the program is giving us Has it timed out already? Um, I guess it timed out on me already. 
So what it was doing though was giving us the value of anger, right? Anger was the ciphertext, envy was D, the private key. So we have the private key, but we don't have N. Then with that, we went through and computed all the possible values. So we knew that P minus one times Q minus one times some constant was gonna be D times E minus one. We knew D, we knew E. We can subtract one from that, get all the factors of that. Any subset of the factors might be either P minus one or Q minus one. So we enumerated all the possible subsets of the list of factors. If uh, multiplying them together gave us a number that was the appropriate length, 128 bits. And that plus one was a prime because P is supposed to be prime. We added it to our list of possible primes. N would have to be two possible primes multiplied together. And we then apply that as if that's the correct thing. We use the private key with that N, see if it corresponds to plain text, and if so, send it across the wire. And I'll go ahead and stick this source code in the description. And there we are.